guys. Alright, alright, alright. So we're going to the Paladin cards. So the first card we're going to review is the um, six mana, four, four, ivory knight. So you discover a spell. Is it a spell? Yes. Yeah, yeah, and, spell. and it restores whatever its mana cost is. To your hero, yeah. Yeah, to your hero. Yep. What okay. do you think about this card? I thought this card was pretty good just because it does provide you the utility and flexibility of what you need. Pretty, I think it's pretty bad. Stat wise, it's pretty bad. Yes, yeah, stat wise, yeah, it's bad. And bad. Um, if you consider its effects, discovering a spell is good. Mm -hmm. I like that. But um, the stats, 6 mana 4 4, it's very underwhelming. Not only that, the Paladin cards, the only ones that will heal a significant amount of health are Avenging Wrath, Lay on Hands, and uh, that Murloc one. Which you're never going to pick unless you have Murlocs in your deck. What kind of Murloc deck will run this? Not the, um... Whoa. You can I, still... just th I just thought of something! You can run Murloc Paladin. Yeah. The combo... You varies. know, you, you can With still this pick... this card... You know, you can still run this in a control deck and still pick the 10-drop uh, spell over Secrets. Just, 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 yeah, just, just get help. Exactly. Yeah, just get help. And if you think yeah. about it, it, that's better than Healbot. Yeah. Right? It, yeah, it's like a lot of, of flexibility. You're like, paying one more mana for two more health yeah. and plus one and plus one in stats. Mm -hmm. And it has flexibility in discovering you a spell. If you choose to have the... You pick the Murloc, like the, the, ten, the 10 spell, you're not getting a spell. Like, you're yeah. not getting a spell. You're but you have the health. option of getting the spell. Yeah. If you get Lay on Hands off of this, it's, it's, it's freaking crazy. Because and even Avenging you get Wrath, the, it's You get the 8 health. And you get the eight health from the uh, Leon Hands. So yeah. That's six. That's a sixteen health swing. So that's pretty crazy. The 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 reason why I don't think this card is good, even though it looks good on paper, is that like Paladin doesn't need any more healing. Yeah. It already has but, amazing healing options in the form of like for it, like forbidden healing. Yeah. But here's the upside of it. It gives you a spell. So yeah. it re it kind of re replaces itself. You get more utility. You get to discover it. Discovering is good. You get you three chances. Yeah. The issue is most of the Paladin spells are kind of trash. If you're discovering yeah, true, though, true, true. You're, the likelihood of getting all three secrets is not that high. And if you think think about it this way, Heobot was considered a bad card. Most people who reviewed it back in GVZ thought mm -hmm. it was an absolute garbage. Really? It turned out to be an amazing card. I thought it was good just by looking at it. Uh, a lot of people Damn, thought. No, 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 no. Uh, why, why are you such good? a Why are you no, so good at predicting? Oh cards? man! No, no, no. It's never gonna see. No, no, it got oh, really man. good when Bran started to come out. Yeah, oh. it was even better before that. Yeah. But then it the was. thing with. Yeah, then the thing with Ivory Knight is it's actually, if you think about it, it's, it's better, better than Heobot because yeah. it's, you're paying one, it has plus one, plus one in stats, but it's not too relevant because all you're looking for it is from a heal. But the Discover a Spell mechanic is so flexible and so versatile, yeah, it's and so you can get heal up to 10 with this and get like an impactful spell yeah. to deal That's with the board. That's if yeah. you can choose that card. Yeah, like you, you don't necessarily need the healing either. You can just yeah. look for a spell that you need, like yeah, quality right. or even consequence. So what's great, like, Heobot okay, is okay. completely like, dead in control matchups, and yeah. this can still discover you so a relevant spell. this has utility. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it has the, healing. And has healing. And it has a body, a decent one. I definitely think this is a good card. I just don't know if this is, we'll see constructed play. Paladin is not in a good spot right now. I'm actually seeing it being played right now. Is it doing work? It's not really. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like. I like. I like the design it, of this card though. It, yeah. It's. It's nice. I like it's it. Admit, maybe it might make mid. It might give mid range paladin a few more options. What? No. Def definitely options. not. No. Not. Not mid range. Not I can range. see. I can see people building like a Reno. Because um, mid range, a lot of people have experience of experimenting yes. with yeah, mid range. This is a good Reno card. Yeah. This is a sure. good Reno card. You play brand with this card. You get double the amount of spells that you can get for you. And wise. double the healing. And double the and healing. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like a anti kill bot 2.0. Mid range in Nazothedin is actually a pretty like it's pretty relevant though. Yeah, it is. It's like yeah, it's it basically is. just a faster it's version of Nazothedin. Relevant Paladin. maybe, but yeah, it's not really a good deck. Yeah, and this might act <laughs> very uh, draw dependent. Yeah. Well, it's like all decks. Yeah, true, <laughs> well, true, some true, some true. decks are a little more consistent than that, especially yeah, the Temple Mage with the Babbling Book. <sighs> Played it off cool. <laughs> anyway, so, so so we're moving on to the uh, Night Bane Templar, and I think this card is freaking crazy. It's Muster for Dragons, basically. Yeah, it's, it's Muster a, for Dragons. It, and Muster if you think about it, like I don't know how people ever thought Muster for Battle was like that good because they, they compared it with Razor Fan Hunter, which is an absolute terrible card. It's a three mana two three yeah, one yeah. one. Muster for Battle is three one ones. So you're basically you're sacrificing a uh, at the two three. You're splitting up the two three into two one ones. Is that a is that a worthwhile trade for the two one ones and the one four weapon? Apparently, it was one of the best cards of GVG. Mm -hmm. So what, how is how good is this card going to be? That's the question. Is it better than the uh, Blackwing Technician? Well, Blackwing Technician, yes. Whoa. Whoa. No, you can't say that. Actually, no. I can say yes. Because it's better than a single three five body, the two one ones are very relevant for uh, oh. for you know. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Yeah, like it's, not yeah, it's not paired, but yeah, you you just. Oh. Yeah. 
the thing you can do certain things with the one one like you can manipulate them and you can use abusive sarcasm yeah. on them yeah you can use, like, pretty good. keeper of all the money yeah you might even three job too. you might even see knife juggler coming back because of this because card too. just because yeah, yeah, yeah just because it's similar it's just so similar to muster for dragons yeah. the main issue is it's dragon it's paladin a build, it's a build around card you yeah. need dragons in this yeah. deck oh my god mid range paladin is coming i'm back. not sure dragon paladin yeah. like dragon warrior dragon paladin might be relevant before BRM gets rotated because Black and Corruptor and all those dragons and yeah. cards are still in the yes, game. Yes, yes. Yeah. And just because of this card, we'll be able to carry the three drop. We'll be able to carry the uh, three drop slot. Mm -hmm. And better than Blackwing Technician. It's really good at taking the uh, the board. The, the the problem is is dragon is dragon paladin gonna be better than dragon warrior which is the premier dragon deck right now. Mm, no, mm. dragon like it's a bit a lot slower. Yeah. Yeah. They don't really have the Alex Strauss champion, but they do get the consort. Yeah, yeah the Consort, consort, consort can allow for some crazy stuff. for, like, control. The, the, like, you want Yazir to come out early, right? Consort also yeah. seems like an objectively just good card, but yeah. then it just never worked out in practice. Yeah. Because if you think about the, the possible cards, what are you going to do? Like, con turn 5 Consort and, like, Yasera? Yeah, I, I get... Turn I, 7, mm -hmm. like, it's, like, it's just not... In practice, it just doesn't work out that well. I, I guess, believe it's really... It, you can yeah. allow for power turns. Like, you play the Consort, Yeah, power right? turns, yeah. So you can do, like, the Bran, the Azure Drake, the next A lot turn. of people predicted that, like, in Black Rock Mountain, that uh, Dragon Paladin... Like, the only dragon viable dragon deck would be dragon would be paladin be solely because of dragon concert like if there's going to be a dragon deck mm -hmm. it's going to be paladin people have concert. tried it out but yeah. it, and it turned really out being just, just garbage yeah, yeah so, i tried it out so many times yeah it's it really hard to work that was during a different meta game yeah it was so but this is better than muster right no no i wouldn't say it's better than muster no like, no no i wouldn't say better muster, than muster for battle was yeah. better because it gave you initiative with the weapon yeah the life's justice made a huge but difference but the, the bodies are way better here because you're instead of gaining one of the one ones you're getting a two three which is pretty relevant no, not okay. It's good. It's good. But you Don't can't get it wrong. But it does not replace that one one weapon. Yeah, the one four weapon. But it's instant. It, the it's instant, instant one damage. You can't say it's objectively worse though, right? I'd say this is a way better slow card. Like if like if you're not if you're just hitting face with a weapon, this is yeah. a way better card. Yes, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah, of course. So then, but the, the weapon can test the board. The yeah. weapon can, like I said, the weapon can test the board. Is it better than the three mana two three in like all scenarios? I I don't think so. No. I still think this is a pretty good card. Just, just it's because a good it card. resembles yeah, yeah. Monster for Battle so much, and it scares everybody. It gives everyone PTSD. So, <laughs> but here, yeah. the, here, lays the problem where uh, Paladin is still is still missing the good two drop. Yeah, the two drop, the mini bot will that will never be replaced. Yeah, that will never be replaced. That's too strong. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So they I, tried doing something with the uh, the the that uh, two mana no the one mana yeah. two one two selfless mana. hero. Oh, selfless no one they, mana two one. Yeah, they the tried one do, they tried doing something with that, but yeah. right now it's not even that good. Basically, mm -hmm. if Dragon Paladin is good, this card will see play. If not, it won't. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah. True. And uh, the last Paladin card that we're going to be talking about is going to be the Silver Moon Portal, and uh, just straight off the bat, I think this card is bad. This card is garbage. Same, same. It just does not impact the board enough for it to four mana, and a would two you, drop is not relevant. Would you play this over uh, Blessing of Kings? Never. I would yeah, know. never. Exactly. Because exactly. you're basically just giving. Exactly. The, you're basically just the, the 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 point of Blessing of Kings is that it has charge if you have a minion. Yeah. And this does not have. You're basically just cutting out half of the minion and yeah. not giving the two, like two two of the stats charge. Yeah. You're summoning a random two drop. Yeah, and the two drop can, just, can screw you yeah, over. It could like, be something doomsayer. doomsayer. Yeah, yeah doomsayer. Yeah. yeah. So this this card is just just not. It's just one of, it's yeah. bad. I don't want another pilot shredder like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except this is like obviously way worse. Yeah. Than pilot Would you say this is the worst portal of them all? Because I would, yeah, yeah, I, would yeah, I would say it's yeah, the, worst worst portal. the worst portal. portal. Yeah. Yeah. You think yeah. about the portal. We, we, there's Maelstrom Portal, which yeah. is the Shaman. Yeah, that, that's better than this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Creeper, Moonblade, Arcane Explosion. Moonblade's, Moonblade's better than this. It's probably the, the five yeah, mana armor one. card is better than this. Oh, that's beautiful. And the seven mana, the, se yeah. the and Firelands Portal, which we talked about earlier, yeah. is better than this. So yeah. Yeah, this is for like unequivocally the worst card. It's just mm -hmm. it's so, a bad card in general. It's not even good. Yeah.